for doing. How's your weekend been? It's been another day. Welcome back to Gracie's World. On this menu, I'll be giving you guess what? Think, 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 think. Okay, I'll be giving you. Spaghetti jealous. But first, let's go by what we normally do by thanking all our subscribers. You have been amazing, guys. For all new subscribers, please always come along to Gracie's World. Please, please, please subscribe, share, like this video. It's going to cost you nothing less. It's free of charge. Please do subscribe. And for all our old subscribers, you are very much welcome back. So please get seated, get along with me as I introduce you to our ingredients for this menu. So I'll be introducing you to my ingredients. I'll start with the spices. Jack seasoning vegetable all-purpose seasoning, maggi cubes, smoked paprika, Cameroon pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, pink Himalayan salt, hot chili powder, ground allspice, thyme, garlic. So having introduced you to the spices, I will now introduce you to the main ingredients. That's the prawns or shrimps our beef as protein chicken breast mixed veg and on my tray I've got bell pepper long sweet chili pepper onion, tomatoes, tin tomato paste. How many of you still remember this? The Gino tomato paste. Ginger, spring onion, and our main star of the meal, spaghetti. Not forgetting 100% pure coconut oil. This I'll be using in place of vegetable oil. So guys, based on my previous videos, everything has been prepped. Our chicken, beef, and the shrimp have all been washed with lemon. As you would have known, this is just to clear off any bacteria and give it a more satisfying taste. Well guys, it's now time to marinate our beef as you can see. So I'll be doing that with the various spices. You might be wondering why I've changed uh, the bowl. The reason behind that is that I need enough room for the mixture be evenly distributed in the bowl so you can see you would have noticed i'm using a portion of it the idea is because uh what I, whatever i'm doing for the beef is what i'll do for the chicken and the shrimps so i'll use a little bit of every of the spice
see having done that i will now mix everything to make sure it's properly mixed to a good consistency this is a final product of the beef that's been marinated also the shrimps and the chicken breasts so guys it's now time for us to fry our prawns chicken breast and the beef but i have to do them separately because of the time it takes for every one of them to get cooked i'm using the coconut oil the 100 percent pure coconut oil as you can see We we'll allow it to melt. Mm -hmm. Now putting the shrimps into a pure coconut oil. Just give it a quick stir, then allow it to fry for about three to five minutes. I've just taken off the shrimps, so it's now time to fry the beef. I've removed the beef, now it's time to put the chicken breast. Give it a stir and I'm done with the pre two previous frying. We'll leave this again to fry for another five minutes, the chicken. So I'm stirring this, giving it the final stir, then take it off the frying pan. I'll be boiling my spaghetti in readiness for the final uh, preparation of our authentic spaghetti jollof. So this is the water, adding some salt, Himalayan pink salt, and I'll be adding uh, coconut oil into the water this is to make sure the spaghetti doesn't get stuck together so it's time to add our spaghetti Now time to fry our onions, pepper and all other ingredients that have been prepped before now. So you can see I've poured in the onions, garlic and ginger with our maggi cubes. You can see I'll be adding my tomato paste. So guys, I've just added my tomato paste which I have allowed to fry. The idea is to add, not to allow it to have that sour taste. So I'll be adding my blended tomatoes and pepper. Of course, I'm going to give it a quick stir. And so it's time to stir. You can see the coconut oil is bubbling at the top. With that, we know our tomato sauce is 
in good shape. Now time to add the other ingredients which have been prepared before now. Adding the shrimp, the chicken, and the beef. Then I'll stir it again. Leave it on fire for another five minutes so that it can absorb as much as possible the sauce. Guys, what do you think? This is yummy now. What do you think? Leave your comments below. See, it's full of obstacles now. We we'll allow this to cook for another 10 minutes. The only reason being that we want it to absorb as much of the sauce as possible. What do you guys think of our sauce? So I'll be adding the final ingredients, as you can see. I'll give it another stir. It's looking very colorful. Please leave your comments below. For all our new subscribers, thank you so much for coming along. This is looking yummy, guys. So, guys, I'm giving it a final stir. Our sauce is ready. But for your information, as you would have noticed, for your information, as you would have noticed, I'll be transferring the sauce into a bigger pot so that it will have enough room for my spaghetti. So guys, our spaghetti jalof is ready. What do you think? Leave your comments below. See? Looks yummy and very, very, very colorful. What do you guys think? I'm already salivating. Get your place ready. So that we can all eat together. You guys, our food is ready. Come, let's. Just and see how much we have done. Just as in the little more. Guys, this is absolutely yummy. Please leave your comments below, share this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for coming along. Stay tuned to Grace's World. Bye.